How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another Bladeosophy video on Monday. Yes, I know. Um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Well, um, I took off a, a couple of days and um, I did some um, yard work that I, I hadn't with all of this um, COVID thing and all, and uh, this um, being inside and and well, you know how it is. I, I just haven't been able to to go outside and uh, to the outdoors, and, and that's exactly what I did. And man, it feels good to do some um, work in nature. Um, and so I climbed a tree and, and um, I cut off some, um, some branches of, of a elderberry tree. Um, that had this uh, plague that is like um, what you might call it um, give me a second I'll remember um, <laughs> oh man uh, mistletoe mistletoe that's it and this mistletoe is pretty aggressive and ends up um, eating trees uh, from within so anyways um climbed the tree and and took off quite a few branches and and did some yard work and well it was just amazing <coughs> yeah it was having just a nice cup of red tea but anyways I hadn't been able to be outside with uh, feeling the Sun and and the cold air as of winter and you know just feeling the elements so Anyways, that's what uh, I've, I've been doing or I did and that's why I had no video um, because also I, I it really wasn't sure what to talk about and I'm not just going to throw um, anything and, and fill the space. Um, I want to give more um, content, quality content and at least that's what I try with every single video whether it's in Spanish or in English and today three minutes in I want to talk about um, this perfect knife God I love it <laughs> it finally arrived for those of you who don't know this uh, blade this XM18 I bought from Metal Complex this was I think in in September of last year that's I, um, one year four months ago and I just hadn't been able to bring it um, I, I left it in, in the hands of uh, some family members that were supposed to come and, and then with, with all of this um, pandemic thing they weren't able to and just uh, things got complicated they they had a baby girl wonderful uh, beautiful baby girl and it just uh, it all got complicated but finally finally it's here and let me tell you it's better than I thought it would be it really is 
Um, I freaking love this thing. I love, 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 love this thing. It's just so perfect in so many ways. And big shout out to Metal Complex and, and, and just thank him again for, for the opportunity. But what I want to th talk about is um, posture gating gratification and how, how important those two words and, and the meaning of it um, really is. This is something that in, in my classes I teach children to posture gate gratification to not receive grat gratification immediately or don't expect to receive gr gratification immediately. That is just so important because what the world is teaching us, not only children, but what the, um, the surroundings, the media, what the world is teaching us is immediate gratification. And where has that taken us? If I don't get immediate gratification in my marriage, if I don't get immediate gratification in a knife, then I go to the next one immediately. I, not even a week and I'm already buying another one. Um, and we're talking about, well, we could be talking about cheap or expensive blades. Doesn't matter. We could be talking about shoes. We could be talking about cars. We could be talking about um, a degree um, a college degree, a master's degree, a, a doctorate. And, you know, there was a, a saying, I don't know if it still goes around, but it was a great um, slogan uh, for Heinz Ketchup. That the best things come for those who wait. And... It's so right and it's so important and so deep in so many ways that we really have to think, stop and think about it. Um, I've only been to um, hunting once in my lifetime and, and fishing, I think, twice in my lifetime, two or three times. And this waiting is so important there are seasons in our lives and in nature and we can't hurry things there are things that are meant to have their time and we can't hurry love we just have to wait <laughs> Remember that song? <laughs> it just came to my mind and, and burst. <laughs> Anyways, um, I am not. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm um, ahead of my of my head, uh, but this is my my Excalibur, really. I mean. And I, I, I do have the, the other two um, from the Trinity. And we will see head-to-head uh, -head competition between these in, in, in their time, when their time comes. But this is just such an amazing blade. And I, and I really, really love it. And, you know... This waiting time, this posture gating, of course, that wasn't because I wanted to. I wanted it right away. But um, life taught me a lesson that I teach my children, or I used to teach my ch children, my students. And that is um, how important posture gating grat gratification is. I went through many um, stages with this blade 
and from obsessing and really wanting it and and um putting myself upside down trying to figure out a way to bring it and and not cause uh problems and a safe way because you know um sometimes it, it's rather um it's a risk to to bring things to Mexico if 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 not done properly by UPS, DHL, uh, FedEx. I don't think so. UPS, I don't think so. But anyways, um, and I didn't know all of these processes before, and this was this was my original grail knife and it still is and i'm holding in my hand my grail knife after a year and four months and it's just fantastic i love my knives i i enjoy them greatly of course uh some more than others but each and every one um, have costed me not only money but uh, an enormous amount of effort and time and patience. Nothing was given to me and I earned each and every one of my blades. I do have uh, a couple of gifts, of course, uh, which I, I um, truly appreciate from those um, guys. But my collection is, is really made up of, of effort, of um, investing time and thought uh, and this is the the end result. This Excalibur, this Grail is in my hands right now, and I can't believe how wonderful it is. And it took the time that it took, and th through this time I meditated and and had ups and downs and and was. Um, angry and and excited and happy and sad and uh, troubled and many things but even after all this time a certain um, excitement um, was still there and when I put this in my hand that exploded and it was like a stream of excitement a river a small a creek of excitement and then once it got here and once it was in my hand it became an ocean of joy and i guess that's the lesson that the best things may come to those who wait. Waiting is important. Knowing how to wait is even more important. And enjoying the path of um, my Excalibur to my hands was worth the while. So there you have it, folks. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you um, stop and think about it, especially nowadays. Um, kids receive a great deal of things, and I'm not against um, giving. What I am against is, do you remember when you were kids and when we were kids, we did not get everything. 
and we had to wait for a birthday or for next Christmas. And that wait, that waiting time, um, this excitement just accumulated. If we really wanted that, like the first bicycle uh, or skateboard or skates, you know, and that uh, or that first um, original football and it just accumulated until that gift was given to us and that was just uh, either um, on our on our birthdays or at Christmas and it was such a wonderful experience as it, this is now so try to think about that and and educate with that when i was um in school when i was teaching that was one of the main things that we taught our students and and how this is uh something we see in nature and well my grail is here it took time patience effort and many things and I'm just grateful and joyous that it's here have a wonderful um, new year and my best wishes to all of you. I'll come up with another uh, English video um, these days because um, I really want to share, uh, share uh, a thought or two and a blade or two. So thank you guys for following thank you for your support i really thank your uh, your support thank you metal complex buddy thank you and see you next time professor edc out